All right, say hello, Papa John. Hello, Papa John. So I'm gonna give him a uh, food. Food. Sinigang na baboy po. So I just made this one. Oh, there's jalapeno in there, Hannah. That's all right. No, no, this is not jalapeno. That's a uh, serrano. How many meat do you want? That's Papa John. I want more juice. Juice. But veggies? Hello? Yeah. So sinigang na baboy, guys. It's good. And then I'm gonna have, I do not want the serrano in there on mine. Who we'll start eating, my love? I put a little rice in his. And then here's my plate. We just made this. I cook, started cooking early because the meat takes a while. This is nice and tender. Yeah. We cook it like an hour, I think, over an hour. So this is it that. so much better when you slow cook. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna. <laughs> He's not gonna look at the camera. He's gone. Well, anyway, I'm gonna try it. So I think we're gonna start with four this. But anyway, these vegetables, it's so fresh. Bok choy. I love using bok choy. You could use uh, other veggies like cabbage. Cabbage, it might not be good because this is a long cook. A peach high, but it has to be the last vegetables you have to put uh, during your methods of cooking. Ah! <clears throat> Pardon me. But let's try this meat. The meat is so tender, guys. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Sinigang, I use uh, the packet of Noor. Uh, you have to go to the Asian market to buy that, and it's so easy. But I put some a little bit of seasoning, like uh, peppers and chicken broth, and fish sauce vinegar. Mm. We went to Trader Joe's to get some of the vegetables like uh, bok choy and aubergine eggplant. I mean, it's huge. We didn't go to Asian market to get the vegetables because Papa John wants to get the ribeye at Trader Joe's. They have really good one, fresh one, affordable. Mm. String beans and potatoes, I mean tomatoes. Very good. You hear the background, Papa John said very good. Eggplant. Mm. I put the whole serrano paper uh, because I like some intense a little not too intense but a little spicy to it and also paper flakes mm. the meat is very tender the key is slow cook i start cooking the meat early in the morning i don't pressure cook this kind of meat the one i pressure cook is that um baby back ribs if i need to make uh sinigang nababe Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, ginger. I put ginger on you. Mm. <clears throat> I can really taste the ginger. No, you need to eat this with rice. No rice for me today. Again, low carbs, but I'm eating a lot of vegetables. Talking about low carbs, I cheated every week, twice a week. You see my dessert. 
and if I cheated my diet, <laughs> it has to be a good dessert. So I don't know what I'm having for dessert this week. Mm. Mm. I love vegetables. Let's eat, by the way. I apologize again for not inviting you. Oh, you see this? I put bee leaves, all my Filipino dish, adobo, spaghetti, uh, Filipino spaghetti, sinigang na baboy. Even if you have to make calderita, any kind of calderita, so I put that back because it gives some really good aroma to your dish. Delicious. I got some of stencils here. So delicious. Yeah. Really easy cooking. If you have all your ingredients ready, mostly you can find them, your ingredients like onions, garlic, and tomatoes in your fridge. The only thing you need, make sure they're fresh, is if you need string beans, uh, bok choy, egg plant. Talking about the eggplant, it's really big. Let me show you. This is how big the eggplant is. <laughs> so normally I don't finish it. That's why I like to go to Asian market because the eggplant there are smaller. But look guys, I only use like half. But it's so easy to cook. You know, I could do it some other day. Maybe I'll saute that with a little bit of soy sauce. So yeah, everything is delicious. Yeah. Let me know if you want me to put the recipe on my post. I'll be happy to. I'll just put it together. So you can enjoy what I'm eating. Again, so easy. 